everyone, it is Sarah, your local NYC guide, and today I'm very excited to bring you the new and improved three-day itinerary or weekend guide to New York. You know, we had some changes back in 2020. I don't know if you heard about it, it's called a pandemic. A lot of things closed, a lot of things moved around, so I needed to remake this guide completely. But if you are new to this channel, please hit subscribe, give this video a like. I have over 100 videos on New York City alone. So I just wanna make sure that you have your best time ever here. And in this video, we're gonna make sure you have the best three days ever. Before we get started, I have three hacks for you that you absolutely must need to know. And we're gonna do it in 30 seconds. Are you ready? Wait, what was the first hack? Ready and go. Number one, vacation planning. Yes, I'm making you a three-day guide here. That's great. But if you want something more customized, we actually can design a beautiful itinerary for you in our vacation planning services. All of that will be linked below. Hack number two, seated. This is a way that you can save crazy amounts of money on dining in New York City, up to 40%. And if you use my code right here, then you can save $15 off of your first meal in addition to all the other savings. Use it, it's nuts. Number three, Sonder. Okay, if you're looking for a place to stay, well, Sonder is a great mix between an Airbnb and a hotel, and it's way cheaper than a hotel and way nicer than an Airbnb. Plus, you don't have to pay the hotel tax in New York City, so you actually end up saving money. I have a bonus hack for you. This is overtime, and it has to do with that sound you hear. I don't know if you can hear it. Lucas, add that in. Oh my God, it's a helicopter, what? And this is not sponsored, by the way. This is just a crazy hack I found. They don't even know about this on TikTok yet. That's how, that's how new this is. Blade is a helicopter service that you can take from any airport in New York City to Manhattan. The cost for this helicopter trip is $198. It takes about eight minutes to go from the airport to Manhattan. Now you're probably thinking $198, that is so expensive. If you do a helicopter tour, it's around the same amount of time and it costs even more than $198. But I'm gonna do you better than that. Wait, is that the term? Or do one better? I don't know, whatever. If you use my referral code, which by the way, you can only get a referral code if you've used Blade before. So people that haven't used Blade can't get this referral code, but it's for $50 off. So it actually only costs you about $150 to take an amazing helicopter ride from the airport to Manhattan. It will never take you less than like 45 minutes at minimum to get from an airport in New York to the city. And convenient because it saves you time and allows you to do more with your vacation. And with that, I think I went way over time. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now let's get to the guide for real this time. All right. See you on day one. There's no better way than starting your day here at Rise NY. I love this spot. It's the combination between an interactive museum and a soaring ride through New York's past and present. Let's go inside and check it out. You're gonna be pretty amazed with this one. The experience is about to begin. I love this spot. I've been here mm, like five times. Like not even kidding, it's that good. And I've been to all the museums in the city. So I'm telling you this, this is legit. Look how cool this is. So this is Gustavino styled tiling. You're gonna see this a lot in the old subways in the city, but not too much in the newer ones, but I like how they brought that into this um, element because it's very old New York. And these are legit subway benches, by the way, which are way cleaner than what you get in the subway because honestly, I don't think you should sit on them in the subway that's like, Eee! Cool thing about this museum is we're going to go through history, music, entertainment, fashion, all different types of categories. And I just like that because you kind of get everything in one here. Come out. All right, listen, this is, this is important for you to know. When you're going through Rise, there's all these different QR codes around different exhibits. And if you scan it, then you get additional content and additional information, but there's tons of other really awesome information everywhere. Oscar, hello. I was waiting for this video to let you know, but I actually will be having my own talk show coming out. Just kidding, this is not Rise, <laughs> but someday, please. Hey, I'm gonna bring you somewhere there no one else can go. Come on. I'm just kidding, it's part of the exhibit. It's the Broadway section. We got the Lion King, which by the way, I used to work at, in case you didn't know, I sometimes talk about it. I actually used to work on Broadway. I used to work on Broadway. You can't do New York without Broadway. In fact, later today, we're gonna do a Broadway show because that has to be on your itinerary. We are waiting for the ride to begin. And while we wait, I want to share an exciting announcement with you. So to thank you guys for watching this video, I wanted to give you, you know what, discount. Because who doesn't like to save money? So use this code right here to save some money and use that money for something amazing. 
what? Like a bacon, egg, and cheese. Buy yourself a nice coffee. How do you say coffee? I say coffee. Which, oh, was, did, I, did I say that with an accent? Coffee. Co get yourself a nice coffee, you know. Get it, get a coffee. Hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? New York's expensive. You gotta save the money where you can, right? And you don't wanna miss rides. It's the best. We just finished the ride. I love it. I've done it so many times. Every single time, it's so fun. It's Soarin'. So if you've ever been to like Disney Soarin', it's similar to that, except you fly over the most famous sites in New York City. And the other cool thing is as you pass certain experiences. There's certain scents associated with it. For example, when you go over Central Park, it smells like grass. It's really awesome. Great for all ages. Now I am starving. So we are going to head to the spot that Louie and I go the most in New York City. This has never disappointed anyone. You're gonna love it. I'll see you there. Right after Rise, head to Los Tacos Numero Uno in Times Square. Luckily, they now have locations all over the city, so you could go anywhere. That's where Louie and I go more than any other restaurant. And you know it's good if Louie likes it, okay? You may not trust my opinion of tacos, but you can trust his. I always get the pollo asado and the carne asado. They got their guacamole, you can add some salsa on there, get some horchata or rosa jamaica as a drink, you know. I like the rosa jamaica personally, that's my go-to. It's made with hibiscus flour, it's really yummy. They never let me down, it's always incredible. It's a quick spot, so this is a good price to eat up. Delicious. Let's go to our next spot. Here for quiet. You come here for action all the time, and that's what you get. Since it's your first day in the city, you know, you gotta see the iconic, iconic sights. And I have designed a tour just for that. My Musty Manhattan tour brings you to all of the iconic sites in Midtown Manhattan, including Grand Central, Times Square, the New York Public Library, Rockefeller Center, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Saks Fifth Avenue. And then at the end of the tour, you actually get dropped off at Rockefeller Center and you can add on tickets to Top of the Rock and then actually get that experience too. It is literally every single thing that you've seen in the movies and every single thing you've read in books, blogs, magazines, Magazines, Instagram, all in two hours consolidated so you get nick, 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 you knock it all off your list and that is what my musty Manhattan tour is also if you're not able to join the in-person tour is I'm very excited to announce that I actually now have video and audio tours that you can do on your own time when you're here in New York or you could do them from home you can download them right on Thatch. I'll put that link below. It's a pretty cool way to like learn more about New York and explore this fabulous city. Let me give you a sneak peek though inside of this lovely spot, Grand Central Terminal. During the tour, you're gonna come in here. This is Grand Central, very iconic site in the city. Look at this clock here, very iconic, right? Did you know this is one of the most expensive things that are in the public display in New York City? This clock is solid opal on all four sides cost $20 million. Well, that's what it's valued at today. Another crazy thing is the ceiling. So the ceiling has a beautiful constellation and those that are trained in uh, astronomy, right? Astronomy, not astrology. I always mess those up. Anyway, those that are trained in that will notice that the ceiling is actually upside down and backwards and they installed it incorrectly. I know rookies right all right let's continue the next thing another option if you don't do the musty manhattan tour is to stroll along fifth avenue where i am right now let me tell you what amazing stores here gucci louis vuitton tiffany's this is one of the most iconic streets in the world and if you walk your way up all the way to the top you will end up at central park which has been featured in more movies than any other location on the planet it was literally designed, it was handmade, so shockingly, and it's absolutely stunning. It looks like a painting. There's also a zoo in Central Park. There's a lake, you can ride a rowboat, you can ride horses, you can do a horse-drawn carriage. It's just like so romantic, but also cute and fun. Next, I recommend getting a tasty meal in Midtown at one of my favorite restaurants in the area. It's called Bia and it is family owned. They have amazing cocktails and delicious new American cuisine. I recommend the filet mignon. It was delicious. They have a great pre-theater menu too, which is perfect for our next location, a Broadway show. Make sure 
you make your reservations at Bia early so that you have time before your show starts at 7 p.m. After dinner at Bia, you gotta do a Broadway show. New York's top attraction is actually Broadway. Broadway shows are amazing. I have several recommendations. First off, I just wanna talk about Moulin Rouge. This recently won 10 Tony Awards. You can see that sign there. It seriously is one of the best musicals I've seen in a very long time. It's great for anyone because they incorporate a lot of modern music. So even the type of person that maybe doesn't love theater uh, would like this show. Other classics are The Lion King. I adore The Lion King. Also, Book of Mormon is hilarious, absolutely. I, you will laugh so hard. I will say though, if you're offended easily, I would not recommend Book of Mormon. There's a lot of swearing. There's actually a whole song where they just say the F word over and over and over again. And then also Wicked. Wicked is a story of the Wizard of Oz witches. Who's Tony? Who's Tony? Honestly, I, I don't know. I would like to know who Tony is. But Tony Awards is like the Oscar of theater, if you're not sure what a Tony Award is. And, and winning 10, it's pretty solid. This is a really great hack if you want to see a Broadway show but are on a budget or just simply want to save some money, because who doesn't like to save some money? I love it. This right here, luckyseat.com. This will give you uh, access to all of the Broadway lotteries. And if you're not sure what a lottery is, well, you are in for a treat, my friend. Lotteries allow you to go to some of the best Broadway shows. I'm talking Moulin Rouge, Lion King, Hamilton, for a fraction of the cost that you would pay if you just came right into the theater. For example, here at Moulin Rouge, tickets can go up to $399. But if you enter the lottery, you can get tickets for $40. $45. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So all you need to do is you enter. Um, so essentially, if it's a Tuesday, you would enter the lottery and you could win tickets for Wednesday. So it's always like the next day and you might get lucky. I know that like I have won lotteries before and it doesn't hurt. Just like put your name in a few different lotteries. Pretty good hack, right? You're welcome. You can't come to New York City without going to a rooftop bar, no matter what the season is. And I recommend the Skylark. It's located on the 30th floor of a skyscraper and has epic cocktails with even more incredible views of the Empire State Building. Hey there, future Sarah again. As a reminder, there is a part two of this video. It will be linked below. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for joining me in New York. Remember to check out all my other New York City videos to fully enhance your experience. Subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.